Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series we're taking a look at taking photographs on the iPhone 4. This episode specifically we're talking about managing your photographs. Now once you've taken a bunch of photographs you'll want to do something with them. You can take them to your computer or you can just use them on the iPhone. We'll show you how to do that in this part of the series. Once you've taken a bunch of photos they'll appear in the Photos application on your iPhone. You can also access them from the camera application by tapping on the icon in the lower left corner of the screen. You can scroll through the different photographs you have on your iPhone by swiping with your finger to the left and to the right. You can also press the play button at the bottom to put into slideshow mode. When you have a photograph up, tapping on the screen will bring up some menu options. Hit the trash can icon in the bottom right hand corner to delete a pic from your library, then hit the delete photo button or hit cancel if you don't want to delete it. While you're looking at a photo, you can use the pinch zoom to zoom in and out of your photograph, and then slide your finger around to move the photograph around. That way you can see the photo details a lot better. Once you're done, click the done button in the top corner. To transfer your photographs to the computer, just plug your iPhone in using the USB cable that came with the iPhone. If you're using a Mac, iPhoto should pop up and give you the option of importing your photographs. You can either choose specific photographs or choose to import all of them. Once you're done, it'll ask you if you want to delete them from your iPhone. You can choose to keep them if you like, or you can delete them. The process on the PC is the same. Just plug it into the PC using the USB cable that came with the iPhone, and whatever software you've specified to be your photo manager will give you the option to import them. Then you can do what you like with them from there. That's it for managing photographs on your iPhone 4. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where I give you other tips and tricks for shooting photos on your iPhone 4. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.